Hey guys, so today's video is about my editing workflow. I use Capture NXT and Affinity Photo. Um, I'll briefly go over the two softwares and in future I'll try to make more detailed videos about different features of each software um, and hope you like the video and uh, here I go into my computer. If you're new to photography, you'll find that a lot of photographers will say that they click raw images and that brings a good question that I've been asked many times. How do you edit raw images um, if you don't do this professionally? What I do is I try to look for free software uh, that would give me good raw editing ability. In the past, I've used Raw Therapy, which is a free software and it's pretty good for what it is. And you can use it for Nikon, Canon. I've not tried Sony, but I think even for Sony it works. Uh, but since I use Nikon um, and I found that Nikon's homegrown NXT software is free, I started using it recently. And uh, I actually like it over Raw Therapy for some features and I'll show those features to you uh, later in the video. So let's dive into this. Capture NXT is a great editing software for Nikon's NEF files. And it's not a surprise because it's Nikon's own uh, homegrown software. Uh, so it does a good job with editing the images. The downside of the software is uh, that the database management in the software is pretty bad. So as soon as you go to like 10 or 15 edited image in a folder, uh, you'll find that the software really slows down um, and that I have found to be irritating at times. Um, so yeah, you need to be careful about that. This image is already very good out of the camera. So maybe it, it doesn't really make sense to do any kind of raw editing on this, but um, I'll pick an image which was terribly underexposed and uh, it will give you some idea of what you can actually achieve uh, using NXT. So this is an image from our vacation in uh, December and you can see the, the real area of interest here. My wife is, um, is very, very underexposed. Generally what people do uh, is they will bring up the exposure or they will bring up the brightness. But the problem you see here is the bright areas start to lose detail. So if I go ahead and like make it so I, if I go in properly exposure, um, you can see that all the data here is lost, right? It's, it's just white. So I think the, the correct way to do this is by bringing up the shadows first. Um, so you, if you go to tones, you'll find that there is a shadow protection adjustment uh, here. And if you bring it up, you'll see that only the dark areas are being pulled up, uh, right? So, so here you'll see that um, we have good amount of detail here, but um, I just feel that there is more noise getting introduced. If I bring it up any further, so I'll just leave it at um, maybe 80. Uh, and then I'll go into the exposure compensation and then bring it up by maybe another one third of a stop but I still don't like how she's exposed in this shot so what I'll do is I'll go into this retouch and I think this is something that I really like about Nikon's NXT and I think they picked this up from Picasa before Google had Google Photos they had Picasa and Picasa had a similar ability where you could actually go and select a region and that reach you can then go and affect that region selectively but Nikon I think is has something that is even better because you can go and select a color in that region and then affect that color so let me pick up some color maybe here so it has picked up this color and now I can actually bring up the brightness uh, let's say by 35 so you can see that uh, only shirt is affected by this um, let me also bring up the saturation maybe I also want to expose her face properly so I'll bring up the exposure on her face and you can see that most of the background is not affected and and in fact if you change the size here you make it like 15 or something 
the background would not be affected at all by the kind of changes that we are making here. It was a really dark day. Um, the colors really don't pop a lot here. So I'll try, what I'll try to do is I'll try to bring up some of these colors just to give the image a little more pop. Maybe make the bench a little more saturated. Yeah, so I think now this is good enough and uh, we will now move to Affinity Photo to do some final touches. Now we are in Affinity Photo and what I'll do is I'll open the image that we had edited. So I had saved it as a JPEG and we will open that image. Then we'll try what we'll try to do is we'll try to make further adjustments on this image. Normally I like to go and see how the levels look like. So you can see the dark blacks are, um, the real information is shown by this curve, right? So you can see that there is a whole bunch of dead space here, which you want to get rid of in this levels adjustment. So you can see as soon as, it, as I do that, there's a whole bunch of pop in the image already. I also think that we can probably make this image a little warmer. Um, I also don't like this dead bush here. So what I'll do is I'll go into this in painting brush tool and I will just, I have to first go and select the layer. So I select the background layer and then I basically go in uh, paint over this and the amazing part about uh, affinity photo is that like photoshop it will go and selectively remove that and try to put something that it believes matches what uh, the rest of that portion of the image so i think it did a pretty fair job here if you see so this this lens is actually not very sharp um, so I clicked it with the DX55 to 300 lens uh, that I use it on my D750 all the time. Um, so it's not very sharp. So one thing I would like to do is I would duplicate this image and I will go into filters, into sharpen, uh, go to clarity and bring up the clarity by a few stops. Yeah. So I think if I go and look at before and after, it brings in some of that detail. Yeah, so this image to me now looks good enough. Um, there is some noise here definitely, but um, nothing that kills this image. So if I go and open the original NEX file, and we'll come if we compare those two files you'll see that um, there's a, a a huge difference in what nxd has already done so you can see that the nef file or the raw file is this and then the edited file is is the jpeg and it's you can see the the amount of difference one thing i forgot to mention was uh, why I prefer using Capture um, NXT over Affinity Photo's uh, Develop module. And the reason for that is I've found that the Develop module, whenever you try to bring up the shadows in the Develop module, it, it does a horrible job with it. Um, you can see the how bad this looks as compared to what NXT did. So that's the primary reason why I don't like to use Affinity Photo for editing raw images. Uh, but other than that, uh, you'll find that Affinity Photo uh, is, is pretty amazing for everything else. Uh, and I'll try to make other videos uh, with NXT and with Affinity Photo to teach you other techniques. Um, 
So that's all I had for you guys today and hope you enjoyed learning how to use uh, these tools.